everyone, today I'm going to be reacting to Holly Bailey's new single, In Your Hands, and let's get into it. Okay, so my thoughts on this, I agree with someone on Twitter because I saw somebody say that the single cover does not match the actual song and I'm like, exactly. Because the single cover, she has that guitar on. I thought she was maybe gonna get into her rock era. I thought this was gonna be a nice little up-tempo. And then this song is very much giving me 2008. I think if this song was released in 2008, smash hit. Now that I think about it, this more so gives me something that would be in a movie soundtrack. I'm definitely hearing that. I can see it during like a pivotal scene. So I think that's where I can kind of place this or whatever because there was something I was thinking about this song the whole time and I couldn't really quite articulate it but now that I really sit back and I just said a little bit that's exactly what it's giving it really is and maybe in a different world this could have been on Lion King I don't know I don't know don't cover me but it's kind of what came to mind and so I will say that there I mean I like the song I like the song you know let's say that right I do enjoy her vocals on here I think she sounds excellent I like the writing on here I like the production and everything and yeah it's interesting to see more of her style because I loved Angel I think that will probably have more replay value for me than this no shade and yeah so I enjoy it I enjoy it and I was just expecting it to go in a different direction. That's what I can say. But I really like the video. I will say I think she has a great voice. Excited to see what she continues to do with the solo career. Because I know that she's kind of in a dispute with her label trying to even get this released and everything. And I saw someone say that this gives, you know, actually like an album track. I could see that. I could see that after like listening to it. It was cute. It was cute. I liked it, honestly. And so, yeah, I wonder when she's going to start making music with chloe again because i'm itching for new chloe and holly someone had to say it someone had to say it. that's my honest thoughts i do like her solo music that's what i can say but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments do we like the song do we hate the song do you agree with me like let's continue that conversation and i did do a video on chloe and holly it was about the ungodly hour album so i'll throw that up in the cards it'll be at the end of this video and down below in the description if you guys would like to watch that thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it give it a like down below hosting a lot in the youtube algorithm you can subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this i post every single week i'm um, reactions i'm um, reviews all that kind of stuff and I just posted my review of Usher's Coming Home album, so definitely go check that out. And if you hit the bell, you get notifications to your phone when I post. Do not miss some brand new videos come out. Link down below in the description will be my second channel. Most of it is just me using my TikTok content on there, but I do some other stuff. I should have another video dropping today, actually, the Ariana Grande Eternal Sunshine album vinyl unboxing moment. So definitely go check that out. And I upload it on there pretty much every single day right now. And then I'm also going to have my TikTok. I don't post everything on TikTok on there, so definitely go follow me. I have two accounts. I'm gonna have my Twitter accounts, which I'm active on, Instagram, Spotify. Spotify, if you'd like to follow me, links to listen to the song, links to educate you guys on a important situation. Free Palestine this is an important issue we must educate ourselves on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.